Today, Fox 11 was the first to report about a raid at the home of Sean Diddy Combs. Tonight, we're digging a little deeper into the legal issues already facing the music mogul. They include multiple lawsuits involving allegations of sex workers, hidden cameras, and compromising recordings of celebrities and politicians. Now, all this was prior to today's federal raid. Fox 11's Gina Silva digging into that tonight. She's got the latest on those lawsuits. Gina. Alex, Christine, this right here, it is, is the lawsuit. It is 75 pages of just shocking allegations. Many legal experts say the accusations are very similar to those of Jeffrey Epstein's case. If you have read this complaint and seen the nature of these allegations, uh, the raids aren't that surprising. It's a 75-page complaint with explosive allegations of sexual assault, sex trafficking, and drugging of underage girls. The lawsuit was filed by music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones on February 26. It names Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, his son Justin Dior, and several others. And it also includes photographs of bloody crime scenes, sex workers, and drugs allegedly administered at, quote, freak off parties. It's clear that the allegations, uh, again, in this complaint, many of them rise to the level of criminal conduct where you would expect to see some kind of criminal investigation taking place. Civil rights attorney Areva Martin is not connected to this case. She is serving as a legal analyst. If even a handful, not the entire complaint of allegations, but even if a handful of these allegations are true, they mean trouble for Sean Combs. Jones lived and traveled with Diddy for 13 months. The complaint states, Mr. Jones was sexually harassed and assaulted by Mr. Combs. It also states Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to solicit sex workers. The complaint goes on to claim Diddy has hidden cameras in every room of his homes and that there are recordings of celebrities, music label executives, politicians and athletes in compromising positions. The number of celebrities who come up in this lawsuit who, according to this plaintiff, were involved in or have information about uh, some of this really uh, salacious and allegedly criminal conduct on the part of Sean Combs. The lawsuit refers to Diddy's chief of staff as Ghislaine Maxwell, who was found guilty of recruiting underage girls for Jeffrey Epstein. I've seen these cases before with high-powered, uh, affluent uh, individuals. But again, at this point, these are allegations, and perhaps we will see this matter move from civil to criminal. Earlier this year, Diddy's former longtime romantic partner, Cassie Ventura, accused him of rape, and sex I'm trafficking, and, uh, and physical abuse. After Diddy settled that case, other women filed similar lawsuits. Diddy posted his enough is enough statement on Instagram, where he strongly denied all the allegations against him. Uh, again, just really serious allegations that clearly rise to the level of, of criminal conduct, if true. Now, there are many other serious allegations in the lawsuit. We also contacted Diddy's attorney, Sean Hawley, for comment. She did not get back to us. Alex Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.